Hi guys, what's up? It's Sunday the 7th of January and I'm basically almost well rested <laughs> since the holidays. I've been um, on holiday with uh, my kids basically for uh, since Christmas and uh, it was a long time since I made a video and uh, even if I seem like I'm really happy I actually made a video just before this this is the second attempt of me making this video because the first video was out of focus completely so I'm kind of annoyed right now at the fact that I have to re-record everything again so uh, I'm still happy I'm a little bit hungover but that's just how it is on a Sunday so anyway I hope your Christmas and New Year's was awesome mine was okay <laughs> and uh, yeah what am I supposed to do? Yes, exactly. I'm gonna play... <laughs> oh. First time I did the video, it went really well. Now it's just like, all the air is just... <sighs> okay, let's do this. So, what I wanted to do for this video was basically to bring out my old Ibanez MTM2 guitar. And if you've been following me from the start of my social media YouTube career, you have probably seen this guitar a bunch of times. It was the first time that I... It's the first time. First guitar I used for uh, my first amp demos, basically. And uh, I still have it. And the reason why I bought this guitar in the first place was because it's a black guitar with a white binding that didn't cost a lot. So this is an Ibanez MTM2. And uh, it's a Mick... Thompson signature, Mick Thompson from Slipknot and uh, yeah, it's cool, I love the design I've always been a fan of having a black body and a white binding, I think it looks classy I think this is a rosewood fretboard, so I guess I cannot sell this guitar anymore because it's... rosewood is on the sites list so it's an endangered wood species but maybe I can give this guitar away Huh. let me think about it so, one thing I absolutely hate about this guitar is the fact that it has a finished neck. I would consider myself being an Ibanez guy, because I played a lot of Ibanezes throughout the years when I started playing, and you know, up until the point where I had signature guitars, I was mainly playing Ibanez. And one of the good aspects of having an Ibanez has always been that the necks are super awesome. And uh, this one is not oiled or satin, this is just a finished neck and it's flat so this is probably like the worst Ibanez neck I've ever played it's just not their best work in this case maybe it's a preference for Mick Thompson but the neck is just so flat and it's just, it's just awkward it's just awkward to play on but I mean, it looks good so I bought it even if it looks like a, like a tremolo it's actually a fixed bridge I think it's called the Edge Zero or something like that so it's a looks like a floating tremolo, but it has a bolt that goes straight into the uh, into the body, I don't know if you can see that I'll try and make that, ooh this was a nice little angle right here where you cannot see me speak but I'm looking with my eyes and I kind of can make an expression yeah, exactly maybe he wanted the uh, fixed edge bridge because it has fine tuners, I don't know and it also has the locking nut, which doesn't make any sense, but who cares, okay? It currently has a Dimebucker pickup in it, and I used this guitar when I did my first Seymour Duncan um, pickup test, and I was basically just slamming in different pickups into this guitar. I hate soldering, like it's probably my least favorite thing to do in this world. And uh, I remember when I did this test, I was just slamming in the pickups and just soldering them. It, 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 wasn't, it wasn't beautiful inside there, so I'm not going to open the cavity up and show you. But I guess that when I play it now, there will be a bunch of noise happening. So I'm just going to put on record. What? No audio? Oh, it's coming. All right, it's not too bad, actually. Let 
Yeah, there it is. That's my soldering skills for you. It kind of sounds like I'm feeling right now. I was just about to say, it doesn't sound that bad, but it's, uh, yeah, this Dimebucker is really gnarly uh, sounding, and it's... Yeah, I'm not even sure I, I'm not even sure I soldered the neck pickup, but it's in there. Let me see. Yeah. That's not the neck pickup. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I mean it's it's not a horrible guitar, but it's not good. <laughs> I could I think it's kind of cool guitar anyway. It's uh, definitely because it's one of the first ones I used for my YouTube channel. It definitely has some sort of value to it, or like sentimental value to it. So now I probably won't sell this guitar. It's uh, one of the few guitars I have left from that era around 2008 and 2009 uh, when I started making this uh, my YouTube video. So yeah, it's been collecting a lot of dust, but uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. What now? Maybe I should go make some lunch. Yeah, okay, so I'm sorry for this video. <laughs> it's uh, maybe not the most planned video I've made, but uh, stay with me. I have demos coming up of cool products and uh, yeah. I just thought that this video would be a good one to just get me up to speed back from the holidays. Okay, so if you want to know what I'm using to record these videos, check the description. And uh, <laughs> uh, if you haven't unsubscribed already, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. <laughs>